and let's ride. Ride for pop, pop, the life for pop, pop, pop off the glock, glock, the thug in the dumb stuff. I'm gonna get it on till I die. And my phone, cause I wanna get it on till I die. Get it on till I die. Get it on till I die. Y'all remember me. Y'all remember me. And my phone, cause I wanna get it on till I die. And my phone, cause I wanna get it on till I die. 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 Hello, I am coming on to do a reading for the collective. It is just going to be a general energy check-in. So it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, so starting out <clears throat> for the overall energy, we have trust your path. Uh, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Shadow and creation, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify. I feel like. not really helping. No, I'm not gonna do that. I, I wasn't just seeing if that was giving me any more clarity on uh, creation, but it really didn't. Um, so I'm gonna clarify these cards. Okay, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Um, okay. So, you could be on some sort of path. Um, you may feel like you're alone or like you are doing something on your own. And this could be bringing up, bringing up a lot of doubt as far as facing your own personal... Um, 
your own personal darkness or things that you haven't looked at or things that are coming up that you've repressed or suppressed or kept um, like in like under like lock and um, what is that like lock and chain or whatever they call it um, what I'm saying is there could be a part of you that you have held down for a long time and there could be this like something you're doing where you're on a path of um, working on something if that's creating in some way or it, this has to do with expressing in some way where you are um, working to release something around a direction you're going in when it comes to creating but there is something you're expressing that you're confident in um, and that it assists in your own personal growth when it comes to like you evolving into your the growth that you want to see for yourself but all along this whatever this is that you're evolving in that is making you feel confident there is this guilt around darkness that you haven't faced or I don't want to say darkness but this depth of um like things that you may have repressed or that you haven't looked at that are coming to the surface um where it may be a deeper side of you that you are looking at now or that is now coming up um with Kali it's talking about there may be being destruction or uprooting or a lot of chaos happening that is supposed to be transformative in your life to come into um, a part of your life that's going to be a lot more peaceful and a lot more um, almost like serene or like serendipitous or um, very like ethereal in the way it appears the way you feel about like it's almost like majestic because maybe there's a lot of destruction or like this like oh my god I can't believe like this is really horrible what is happening this like chaos that could be going on it seems like like Colleen's always like pictured ripping off like heads and like there's like men or I think it's men that are like laying on the ground and she's like stomping on their bodies and like is celebrating like <laughs> her victories and it's like she's she's like a, um she's actually pretty terrifying but um she it's like to bring in this like it, like peaceful new like nirvana with her with her uh with her soulmate which i think is um what's his name uh okay i'm sorry i had to look that up um it's shiva was was her um other half of her twin flame and it was said that like Shiva was the only person that could stop Kali from total destruction and that when she was when she came in like when she came to Shiva's presence she would um completely calm down like the erratic behavior that was happening or that she was having um and she would become completely calm and serene so my point is there could be <laughs> my point is is that it was like very destructive and it could be like this um energy where you may be having this chaos go on where you're like this is just like mind-blowing like what is happening but i feel like um there's also something that you're feeling really confident in as far as maybe creating or even like could be like working on in a job or in a partnership could be even like building on a foundation in some way maybe like building a house or um working on like a house or so creating in any way um if you're doing this on your own or if you feel like you're like kind of alone in this journey or on your path I do feel like there's support around you or you have support and this could be um coming from uh like uh from like higher like a higher sense of awareness maybe from like the outside realms um where you might have to like extend your awareness from beyond the physical world or extend your sense of awareness from beyond what you can see in front of you um and be able to know that you're being guided to grow in your 
in in the growth of your soul or the um that you're right now being guided to grow in your soul's growth so that could be why you're going through a lot of chaos to destroy old patterns old habits old things that no longer serve you to wipe those out to banish those to get rid of those things to come into creation we have shadow and creation here which is kind of funny because it's like the dark with the um or not it's not dark but like a um like letting go of what doesn't serve you to come into the um like the the creation the the time where you are coming into the new the like built like rebuilding the time where you're going to come into um a stage where it's going to feel more blissful but i do feel like there's this feeling guilty over something that you need to release or that you're trying to release but um I do feel like it's whatever this is that you, that you may have guilt around, it's to assist in, in your path along your soul's growth to create, um, to create this, this, um, space for you to be able to move in, in, into the right direction that is going to lead you where you need to be going, um, for you to be supported on your on your on your path okay or if it's not a path on your on your creation or in your creation in the um way that you want to see it go or see yourself moving um if you did have things that were not necessarily serving you which a lot of times talks about letting go of things that could be blocking our blessings to allow new energy in that is more f fluid with the kind of um manifestations that we want to see come in for us so there could be things that are of the shadows or of our shadows that are blocking our blessings or blocking our way that we need to let go of to allow more creation or manifestation or more flowing energy to come in releasing Things that we do feel guilty around, but knowing that that is to assist in our soul's growth and assist in our pathway moving forward, okay? So, I feel like that's the energy around the reading. Okay, um, I feel like there's something where you may have, um... You may have come out of something that was not, there was like a cycle that could have been codependent or something that was not healthy if, if it was like tied to some sort of addiction, even if it was codependence, it was like some sort of addiction. Um, there may have been like feeling, uh, at a low point or feeling like, feeling like you were at maybe the lowest point in your life or career or sometime in your life um and feeling like even though you felt really horrible you could have felt like other people around you were um actually happy that you were in this place or in this period um like there was like this energy of people not wanting this energy you were in to end like this was something they wanted to have you be in or this was like an energy that they felt that you felt more supported in than when you were doing well or than when you were like succeeding or than when you were um when you were in a really um stable time where you could have been um really reflective of your own sense of self and been building on maybe a foundation or um, being seen for something you did, um, where you were, like, had attention on you, um, and I s see that you could have went in and spent a long time, um, nurturing your own self, because you actually could have gone into this, uh, like, lower point where you went, um, like, you were treated or you went inward, maybe you had, like, this, 
epiphany moment where you had this realization that there was this more nurturing energy that came towards you when you were at a low point and that when you were doing successful or doing well you lost a lot of support and so I feel like with the hermit there was like this this um and the four of swords there's like this going backwards or going back into this um this low point of um maybe going inward or spending time like resting or reflecting or um going into like your own solitude and um maybe working on things that you were passionate about but kind of keeping it to yourself maybe doing it because it brought in stability or like your own like it was something you did for yourself brought in your own um like gratification um i do feel like this is something you're coming out of or an energy you're you're either coming out of or have recently come out of because i feel like there is some like new beginning that is like uh it's i feel like something you're celebrating it's something i feel like you've spent time nurturing or building to grow into something larger than Maybe you thought it would be in the beginning. Maybe this was something you wanted to give up on, but you continued to put work into it. And so there was something maybe where you were going to end the cycle because of being in a depleted or lack energy, but you continue to work at nurturing something that you, I feel like we're in deep reflection around. You could be in the spotlight or could be known for whatever this is. And I feel like you are... Um, I, I feel like you could be doing well with whatever this may be or it's going to bring in a lot of stability and it may um it may have you in some sort of light or it may have you known in some way for whatever this is but I do feel like you could have the tendency to maybe get down on yourself or maybe put yourself back into that lack energy where you can be really reflective on maybe the lower points or the negative points um, of like your your own self-worth. Maybe this is like that chaotic energy coming in where there's something like that you have remorse or regret around. So this could be like that shadow side that was in the overall energy coming up where there's like the deeper parts of you with the hermit coming up right here. There's this, this like shadow sense of self or the shadow side. We all have it and nobody doesn't have it we all have a shadow so there's this like shadow side that came up in the overall energy that is being asked to be looked at so the more we look at our shadow side we're always going to have a shadow it's always going to be there we're always going to have things that we repress and suppress in our subconscious but it can be it can be less heavy it can be less daunting the more we look at it the more we pull it out of the surface or up to the surface look at the things we're uncomfortable with we look at our things that we look at the things that make us sad look at the things that we're not happy with about ourselves really bring it in from our subconscious into like our conscious state of awareness like reflect on it work on the things that we want to change about ourselves like bring it into um bring it into the awareness rather than shoving it into our subconscious or our unconscious mind and um work on the things like I don't like that I don't um I don't know like brush my teeth twice a day or I don't like that I don't wash my hair all the time or whatever it may be I'm just saying stuff but whatever it is that you are looking at or like you want to work out more or you want to read more books more often whatever is like deeply in your subconscious which is going to take this this hermit <laughs> this hermit mentality is like that deep inner reflection through meditation or just through mindfulness of thoughts really looking at what's going in in in, in your mind um so that you can look at the, like your subconscious thoughts um and being able to say oh that's what i need to work on oh that's what is this darker side of myself that's getting me caught in depression and this like um this lethargic energy and if I can pull those to the surface and bring some work into it then maybe I'll not get stuck in this lack or this mental type of um like uh fog or this mental 
confusion that is coming up. So it is, I feel like, I feel like you have something that's doing really well or that's could be even thriving in, in a way, yeah, with, with the star. And the Four of Pentacles, so there's stability around which something, which wish fulfillment or something that is in the spotlight with the Six of Wands. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like there's something you're really grateful for that is, that is doing well. But I also feel like, on the other hand, there's something that you tend to get really down about or even in like a depression around so I do feel like the suggestion is to work on those suppressed thoughts or work on those thoughts that get buried in your subconscious or unconscious mind and pull them to the surface and do actually do the work on the things that that are neglected or not being um we're looked at like the conscious mind is everyday things right so like i need to eat lunch today i need to wash the dishes today i need to pick my kids up today and those are like conscious thoughts so bringing like the subconscious things like i am really sad that when i was 13 i broke my leg and yelled at my mom that made me really that's a subconscious thought right so that's not something we think about every day but it's in our subconscious and that's going to bring like that thought, I'm not saying that I did that, but I'm just saying that that would be like if you yelled at your mom when you were 13 because you did something and that's something that deeply hurt you, but you, you repressed it down in the pit of your soul, that's like a subconscious thought that you have to bring up to the surface, look at, and do the work to bring some sort of like um, healing through to it so that you can not have it be so heavy on your on your mind in your mind in your energy um and bring you out of these these depressive or lack lack thoughts because five of pentacles talks about you know being down in your luck and maybe not having like housing but with the t this is next to the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so this is more like I was picking this on the, my other reading. This is not. This is not so much not having financial stability. This is more like depression or deep. This is like doing well, being seen in some sort of light, but getting stuck in like a deeper depression. Which, if this is a creative energy, I feel like that's common, or that is part of being some sort of create creator in some way. It's having those deep depressive states which is where, where a lot of creation is pulled from, but also it can be really hard and it's really important to know how to get out of those because again, with the world here, it's important to not, it's important to know how to pull yourself out of those cycles because for obvious reasons, okay? So um, I just think it's important to work on those, those thoughts that can be repressed um, to come into this brighter energy that is all over this. I just see this um, getting stuck again in those um, in those darker times, maybe in between whatever you could be creating, whatever you could be known for. Um, maybe in between times there is this like depressive kind of like stuck energy that could be happening, okay? So I'm gonna pull um, an advice card. Okay. Okay. Connection. I am connected to multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self. Work on witty banter about weather related stuff. Okay, letting go. I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let go because I have enough heavy things to carry around. And also, grudges aren't a great look. 